Hello everybody, my name is Cap and welcome back to Cap Tech. Today we're going to do our very first software review and the software we're going to test out today is Avast Cleanup Tool. Now, Avast is known for their free antivirus. It's one of the more popular ones out there. It's one we recommend if you insist on going with a free versus a paid antivirus. And recently they decided to jump into the utility game by releasing this cleanup tool that's supposed to help improve system performance by removing junk files, optimizing your system settings, and things of that nature. So I thought I would put it to the test and do a review for you guys and see what you think. Avast Cleanup offers a lot of the same sort of tools and cleanup procedures that several of the other ones, such as A Shampoo and CC Cleaner, offer for your system to kind of keep it going cleaner by removing browsing history, cleaning up your registry, removing temp files, that sort of thing. But Avast Cleanup is not free. From the time you install it and run it, you have a 14-day trial in which during that 14-day trial, the entire system is actually available for you to use. But you'll see after 14 days, only a small portion of the program remains free. The scheduling, the removing of applications, cleaning up your registry, reusing, removing the junk files, the startup programs, boot time, all of that requires you to actually pay for it. On their website, it shows that you can purchase a one PC license for one year for $34.99, $54.99 for two years, or for three years, and you can increase and decrease the number of licenses you want at one time. My personal opinion, $35 a year for a cleanup utility when there are a lot of free ones out there that offer the same functionality or even better. To me, I don't necessarily think $35 a year for a cleanup utility is specifically worth it, but that's just my opinion. You're allowed to form your own opinion, of course. So on to the testing, and before I actually get started with it, I'm letting you guys know that I'm running the test on a Windows 7 computer, 64-bit edition, with a standard 7200 RPM HD, just to kind of give you a reference as to what my system set up here. And also, I am notorious for keeping my system very highly optimized and clean as is, so this isn't going on a computer that has been running long periods of time without an additional cleanups. I'm also doing the testing with software version 11.2. So if for some reason down the road they've changed some things and it doesn't work specifically that was in this version, just keep that in mind before we get going. So let's start with installation here. The program's only about 28 megs to download, doesn't take up a ton of space on your hard drive. Uh, standard user agreement that you would of course read all the way to the end before you accept the agreement. Select where you want to have it installed choose continue and you're good to go. No additional options, no bundled software, which is notorious with the vast, such as the Google toolbar, just a real quick clean installation, no major problems. And that's the end of it there. This is the screen you get to when you first load the program up after it installs. You can see at the top you have different options here. You can see that you got the trial to start with. The preferences you can go through and select where you want to always test the computer performance and set that, change the language, and that's about it as far as optimization goes. All you can do from this point is just click on scan PC and let it run. It says don't worry, this won't take too long. We'll see how long this actually takes. On my system, it took it about six and a half minutes to complete the scan. And as I had mentioned before, I tend to keep my computer fairly well optimized as is, so you may experience a much longer scan time on your system. Once the scan's actually completed, you're brought to the main interface of the Avast Cleanup program here, and it'll give you three different sections which it broke it down here. Cleaning up by freeing up space, optimizing by adjusting system settings here, and allow you to schedule to do regular cleans, and this basically allows you to click on each one to see what it's talking about. This shows you that it's going to clear up 1.9 gigabytes of space in your hard drive. This has 38 different items that can change, and right now scheduling is off. But here's one aspect that I don't like about the program so far, is that it's really vague on what information it's going to do here. So you're in the cleanup section here and it shows okay it's got 1.7 gigabytes of junk files it's going to clean up you click on see more and this will break it down as to what all different sections it's gathering all the information up for all these files here but this is the problem is that this is as far as it breaks it down so right now it says that there are 152 driver packages that it can clean up and clear up 1.4 gigabytes of space but there's nothing to click on to see what that is to see which driver packages it is same thing with all of these there's nothing to expand to see what it's actually opening up, what it's changing, what it's deleting here. And for somebody like me that likes to have absolute control over the system, I don't want to just assume it's going to delete 
only the unnecessary stuff and not something I might want to leave behind. Now you can go through and you can check and uncheck specific things of what you want to allow it to do here, but without providing a whole lot of information, it's really, really kind of a pain, in my opinion, to allow it to run without knowing what it's cleaning up. Under the optimize section, it's the same thing. You see here, it's scanned for risky apps, which it determines could be just an, a nuisance to your system, not necessarily a threat. But when you expand it, it's not really clear as to what it's doing here. Browser helper objects are just programs and files designed to run within your browser to do different kinds of functions depending on the plugin. Think of them as just plugins here. So you can go in and have some enabled or disabled. And of course, you want to keep track of what you do have installed on your browser here. But a vast cleanup doesn't tell you what it's trying to get rid of here. This browser helper object, this is just the hex code for the actual program itself. I have no idea which one this is. There's nothing to click on to expand as to which one this is. And same thing if you look at all the list of the toolbars here. I have no idea what any of these are. And before I would allow the program to delete it, I would have to try and find some way of figuring out what each one of these individual programs are. To me, that is a definite negative when you're looking at a program, if it's really vague on what it's doing, it's asking you to trust it to make changes to your system without telling you specifically what it's doing here. And under schedule, basically it just allows you to go in and turn on real-time monitoring, which will clean all the residual files after you uninstall programs. It basically just runs in the background and tries to keep everything clean automatically. And then you can go in and you can change scheduling if you want to do it weekly, daily, monthly, things of that nature. Just to test out to see what it's actually doing and how much information it gives you once you run the program, I've deselected everything except for temporary files. Usually getting rid of temporary files rarely is going to cause a problem on a system. So that's the only thing I have set as the option here as far as to run. So we'll run on clean and see what it's actually doing. It comes up and asks me if there's a specific browser add-on that I want to allow or disallow. Better TV is one that I actually do specifically use. I'm going to skip that one and we'll go through and let it clean and see how long it takes to actually run those 41 temporary files, which usually they're just like temporary internet files you get from stuff that just happens anytime you open up your browser. Rarely do they actually cause problems, but after they build up for a while, they can cause your system to go slow, websites to load slowly. So we'll see how long it actually takes to clean up these 41 files. It took 41 seconds exactly to finish cleaning up 41 files. Success! I have cleaned up I have more room for movie and photos. It freed up 106.73 megabytes of data space on my hard drive. And your free trial, of course, expires 13 days later. So that's about it. That's my final overview of this program that it definitely needs a little bit more information uh, some more options as far as how to customize what's going on in the system and a whole lot more specifics as to what is actually changing here when you're selecting all this so hope this was very useful to you guys i'll be interested to hear your opinions on it if you have any questions do drop them in the comments below thank you so much for your time you guys have a good one and i will talk to you later